I am Denis Roncourt. I'm a former tenured full professor of physics, and I'm also an environmental scientist. I've published over 100 articles in peer-reviewed journals uh, in, various, in, in several different areas of science. And I'm very concerned about this uh, global lockdown that we are being subjected to. Uh, over 1 billion people are, are in effect in lockdown on the planet. And this is being done, we're being expressly told that this is being done in order to circumvent our own natural immunity. In other words, put our immunity development on hold for as long as it takes so that the pharmaceutical industry can develop, test, and distribute a vaccine for this coronavirus in mid-epidemic. So this is the first time in medical history that um, there is a proposal to halt uh, the natural flow of an epidemic in order to be able to develop and, and market and uh, distribute a vaccine. Now I'm concerned about uh, doing this, uh, well, for many reasons. One is that uh, viruses have coexisted and co-evolved with living beings, plants and animals, for over four billion years. So there is a an intimate, uh, maybe even symbiotic relationship between vaccines and our immune system and, and us as beings um, that has always been there. And we've always dealt with um, the, the, the shifts, the genetic shifts that occur in uh, viruses by having our immune system respond to it, learn, learn the new molecular signatures that it needs to, to be able to recognize and attack the new virus. This is, this is the way it's been for a long, long time, since ever. And instead, um, we're being asked to put our trust in this technology, which is to uh, make a vaccine. There's various ways of making it. You can use uh, dead, dead viruses or live but inactive viruses and so on. There's several different routes. But this is uh, mimics or helps. Uh, the hope is to trigger the immune system to develop uh, enough recognition and response to uh, the virus. Um, however, there is no guarantee that uh, it is equivalent to the full immune system response of an individual being infected and uh, uh, developing their natural immunity through the course of that entire infection and recovery. Um, when you do recover in this way and develop your immune system, it, uh, there is scientific studies that have shown quite, quite uh, convincingly that you pretty much keep that immunity the rest of your life. Um, there's no equivalent study for this kind of artificial immunity that's induced by vaccination. There is, um, so vaccination has also known risks. Uh, the, the flu vaccine that's distributed widely in the United States every year, they have to pay out, uh, you know, millions of dollars of damage compensation every year uh, because of the side effects of those vaccines. This is not, uh, uh, it, it's an understatement to say this: the, the science of vaccines and the long-term effects of circumventing your natural immune responses to periodically occurring uh, uh, virus uh, development is is not known. We don't know where that's going to lead. We don't know that it's a good idea or not. We don't fully appreciate. We can't fully appreciate all of the intricacies and complexities of that. So I, I think it's a reckless experiment, and um, there's also no need for it in this particular case. It is relatively easy to, in a targeted way, protect vulnerable individuals, which are the only ones that are really at risk here. The, the, um, the infection uh, mortality rate for this virus is, ex is exceedingly small for young people up to uh, until you get into the higher ages where uh, people are already in hospital or already have uh, coexisting medical conditions. So I would recommend putting an end to this uh, reckless and dangerous experiment 
uh, letting uh, letting people go back to their regular lives pretty much. We, we know what the regular precautions are. We know that if you have symptoms and you have a higher likelihood of, of being contagious, that you can stay at home and recover. You should recover and, and rest when your immune system is, is doing that much work in any case and just and just let it flow as is the case in Sweden. And that would work just fine and uh, would be a more natural, more complete and more well-known secure way of recovering of the population as a whole recovering from this latest uh, strain of a virus.